What do you know about the collimating and the focus lenses of Fabulaser Karting? Well, in this video, we can learn almost everything about collimating and focus lenses of Fabulaser Karting. I'm going to divide the video into sections. You can find topics like what is collimating and focus lenses, what functions of them, what are the common problems in the inspection and replacement of them. So if you are not sure about the collimating and focus lenses of fab laser carting, I think this video will help you out. By the way, my Alibaba shop is online. Please click the link below in the description to have a trip there and get to know the cost for what you are looking for. I'm Clara, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me your like. Thank you. The collimating lenses for point light source and the so-called point light source we see more in our daily life, such as matte light, flashlight ball, and laser coming out of energy fibers. For our industry lasers, we talk about collimating lens basically for the laser coming out of the energy transmission fiber. The laser from the energy fiber is a point light source and has a divergency angle. Theta, this parameter can generally be found. If we place this point light source at the focal point of the fiber collimator, the collimating lenses actually kind of reverses the focus lenses. The light changes to an almost parallel light. The diameter of the beam that comes out after passing through a collimating site is 2i by tag. Tag is half by theta. If the divergency angle is 10 and the IF is 150 mm, then the diameter of the beam coming out of the collimator is 2 by 150 by tag. That is 26.2466 mm. After passing through the fiber collimator, the laser enters the focus lenses of the fiber laser carting machine. According to the theory, the focal length of the collimator divide the focal length of the focusing lenses. That is the ratio of the energy density after focusing to the previous density. Let's see the focal length of the collimating lenses is 75 mm. The focal length of the focus lenses is 150 mm. 75 divided 150, that is one half, which means that the area of the focus spot after the focus lenses is twice as large as the area of the point laser source that just came out of the energy fiber, and the energy density is half of the original. Why should the energy density be reduced? Isn't better to concentrate the energy density? Here are two reasons. First, if the focal length of the focus lenses is shorter, the focal depth of the focus lenses will be shallower, and the shallower depth of focus will easily lead to not deep cut. Second, the shorter the focal length, the smaller the focal point. Second, the shorter the focal length, the smaller the focus point, the smaller the slit. The small slit is not conducive to fall falling of the cut slacks, resulting in the inability to cut through. Therefore, we generally try to use the focal length between 120 to 150 mm as the focus side of the fiber laser carting machine. In addition, why do we not use a collimating lens with a long focal length? There are two reasons here. First, using a fiber collimating lens with a long focal length requires a large lens diameter, which will cause more trouble in mechanical design. The fiber collimator with long focal length will cause it to be very sensitive to the focus point. 
That is why the focus of our general fibrillator cardiac machine is generally between 60 to 100 millimeter. However, with the increasing market demand for high power lasers, there is a restrictive relationship between the focal depth of the traditional lenses and the focal sport. Increasing the focal depth will inevitably lead to the extension of the focal spot size. In many cases, it cannot meet the requirements of laser processing. Distinguished focus lenses have become a new market requirement. Short focal length lenses are suitable for high-speed cutting thin materials, and long focal length lenses are suitable for cutting thick workpieces. And because the zooming method of the high power cutting head is basically the zooming of the collimating lens, which is different from the low power cutting head, which is the focusing lenses, moving the collimating side changes the focus of the laser much more than moving the focus side. For high power laser heads, if the collimating side is more damp and closer to the fiber, the power density will be higher. In the current laser cutting market, in addition to the increasing power, the cutting head is becoming more and more intelligent. At present, the, lay, the low power cutting heads on the market can only see the change of the focus and don't know the internal situation. The high power cutting head bears higher energy and is particularly important to grasp the internal situation of the cutting head in a timely and accurate manner. Therefore, it's one of the future directions of the cutting head to clearly know the temperature of the collimating lenses, the focus lenses, the protective lens, the pressure of the gas, and even the monitoring of the cleanliness of the lens through the intelligent monitoring system. Alright, so we're back to the point, and now we're going to discuss some of the possible reasons of damage to the collimating and the focus lenses. Although strictly speaking, the collimating and the focus lenses are also consumables because of the upper and lower protective lenses, the chance of them being injured is far less than that of the protective lenses. Here I will give three common examples. The first one is condensation caused by large temperature difference because the temperature difference between the inside and outside of the cutting head cavity is too large, especially in summer days when the temperature reaches out 40 degrees, but the temperature in the cutting head cavity is about 26, it's easy to cause condensation on all the lenses in the cavity. The collision between the water vapor on the lenses and the energy laser can easily burn the lenses. The lens here is not only the protective lens, but all the lenses in the cavity, including the collimating lenses and the focus lenses. Therefore, we should try to reduce the temperature difference as much as possible, especially in summer. Since there are protective lenses on the top and bottom of the collimating lenses and focus lenses. Their damage will be closely related to the protective lenses. The second is that after the protective lens is burned through, if it's not found in time, continue to emit laser for processing and the cutting will generally particularly smoke and dust to contaminate the installation components, the ceiling ring, the lower surface of the focus lens. For over 10,000 watt laser equipment, once the protective lens is burned through, it's very easy to instantly burn out the internal collimation and focus lenses of the cutting head. In the worst case, when the optical components inside the cutting head are damaged, the optical path will be abnormal, 
which will cause the window of the laser fiber output height to be abnormally heated and eventually burn out the QBH or LOE crystal. And the entire laser output height needs to be replaced, and that will be a huge loss. So my suggestion is that every morning after turning on the machine, checking the protective lenses should be done as a habit. The third one is actually a purely man-made reason, and not only two or three customers have reported to me. That is, the dust has entered the collimating lens. The main reason for this is that the surrounding environment is not clean enough when replacing the upper protective lens. Therefore, when replacing the protective lens, you must pay attention to cleaning so as to avoid some unnecessary damage and expenses. After all, collimating and focus lenses are much more expensive than protective lenses. So how do we check and determine that there is a problem with the focus side or the collimating side? First, we need to prepare a piece of white paper and then turn on the power of the laser. At this time, we'll see red light shining on the white paper. We can use the camera function of the phone to take a high definition photo and after zooming in, observe whether there are black dots in the circle of red light. If there are black dots, it proves that focus lenses, collimating lenses, or two sides of lenses are damaged and need to be checked one by one. However, it should be noted that it's best to remove the upper and the lower protective lenses first so as to eliminate the black spots caused by them. As for how to replace the collimating lenses and protective lenses, we'll not give detailed instructions here because there are too many tabs and models. But my suggestion is to buy them together with a lens holder because the collimating lenses and the focus lenses are a side of two lenses. If they are bought and assembled, it will avoid installing them by yourself. There are two advantages. First, professional tools are omitted because the two lenses need two professional tools to be placed in the lens barrel. Second, there is no need to tangle the order of the lenses because the two lenses have convex or concave lenses the order in which they are installed is inevitable. If the order is reversed, the direct consequence is that the lenses will be burned. Well, thank you for watching. If you are new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And if you still have the time, why don't you stick around and watch another video? See you next Tuesday. Bye. The next step is to download a free PPS file in the description below. You can get a collection of my videos, which is easy to locate the video you want.